Hey, good morning. Welcome back to our devotional time in the book of Malachi as we're starting our day. We're at Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. Let me read it. For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven, and all the proud, yes, all who do wickedly will be stubble, and the day which is coming shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, that will leave them neither root nor branch. Now, this is connected to verse 2 and 3. We are going to look at the next two mornings, but let's just think about this for a minute. Now, remember the, the context of Malachi. God has called the prophet Malachi, and he's going through a series of questions. This is a problem. The people say, well, we don't understand what the problem is. God explains the problem. This cycle happens several times in the book. And so now we come down and remember what one of the problems was. The key problem is the people are indifferent. They're just doing their priestly duties. They're just kind of floating along. They're totally out of God's purpose for them. And God is telling them here, hey, you know what? There is a day of judgment coming. Put things in order. There's actually a day of judgment, a literal, actual judgment with fire is coming. Now, he's not talking about a forever burning hell. I want you to notice that what the Bible teaches here is those who are lost, ultimately, those who choose to align themselves with sin and selfishness and they receive the wages of sin, they die and, and are going to be receiving that wage. They don't get immor immortality. They don't get eternal life. Immortality, 1 Corinthians 15, immortality is a gift from God to us. We don't have it naturally. You don't have it. It's something God has to give you. Jesus wants to give us that. Satan cannot give us eternal life. He doesn't have that to give us. That's a gift from God. So we see here about the, the day is coming, a day of judgment, burning like an oven. All the proud, all who do wickedly, they're the ones that are judged here. What do we see? They're turned into stubble. That doesn't sound like they're going to be around too long, does it? Stubble? This is not like forever burning in hell. There is no Bible teaching about that. That's something that came into the church in the second and third century after the New Testament. What we have here is what the Bible actually teaches. The day which is coming shall burn them up. Now that sounds completely, the person will be completely ended, completely destroyed. That's what the Bible teaches. That will leave them neither root nor branch. So if you've ever had a burn pile, what's the last stuff left? Well, usually there's some, some thick roots. Uh, there's some uh, stump. A stump is really hard to burn. It'll smolder for days. But what we have here is a statement that in the end of the wicked, of the wicked, there will be nothing left at all, nothing whatsoever left. So a day of judgment is coming. They want to get their stuff in order, return to God, and he will help them turn if they'll just be willing. So very interesting piece here. We're going to look at verse 2 and verse 3 the next two mornings, and this is not really a whole study on this, but just, to, just to opening the crack a little bit to look at something that the Bible actually does teach. When you die, the Bible likens it to a death. Go and look at John chapter 11 if you want to review that. Uh, the immortality of the soul is a pay piece of paganism that uh, was crept into the church, the natural immortality. God gives it to us as a gift, immortality, but we don't have it on our own. So let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we read today about the final judgment that's coming, a day that's coming that will burn up those who choose evil, those who choose wickedness. May we be right, may we be on your side, may we receive your free gift of salvation paid for entirely by Jesus, a gift to us if we will only turn to you and let you transform our hearts and forgive our, our sins. Bless us and keep us. Thank you, Lord, that judgment is not ours but yours, that the, the righteousness and mercy and justice, that's how it will be done. You will do it right. May we trust ourselves fully to you and be on your side, Lord, all the way. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. So today, an interesting piece. Many times uh, people wonder if there's any ultimate justice. We see it right here. There will be ultimate justice even though there's many sad pieces to this because God doesn't want to destroy the wicked. He's not willing, wanting anybody to perish, but that all would come to repentance. Let's be making sure that we come to repentance every day, including today. God be with you this day.